Governor Mike Parsons' new way of classifying COVID-19 risks in Missouri counties. And a local college is hoping to reach out to high school students. We'll explain why and how this program is different. There's also going to be a new curfew for bars and restaurants down in Arkansas due to Governor Hutchinson's ruling. We'll have all these details ahead for you this hour on Daybreak. Good morning and thanks for starting your day. With us today is Friday, November 20th. I'm Jennifer Abreu. Joe Morano here with you too. And starting this weekend, you enjoy. Starting Monday, that holiday blitz really gets you, right? Yeah, I think uh, everyone is ready for it. And hopefully next week for some people, it'll be a shorter week too with yep. Thanksgiving. That's right. Um, yeah, and hopefully you can enjoy it, you know, with uh, the restrictions that we're being asked to do. And I know I'll be working, so I'll be here to say good morning on Thanksgiving. <laughs> She'll take you through. I'll be eating turkey. Yeah, you can eat some turkey. That's fine, Joe. <laughs> just, bring me some, just bring me some leftovers. Oh, some I can pie. always bring you leftovers. That's no problem. <laughs> Meteorologist TJ Springer, you're not going to get left out either, all right? Okay, I know you thank need some you. Leftovers too. I was like, you better bring some back here for all of us. <laughs> yeah. I was going to be a little sad. <laughs> Got to bring enough for the class. <laughs> have to, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think as we approach Monday, we're going to have a little more fall like feel in the air, too. It's been so warm for this time of the year. We're starting off well above average, middle. 50s, humidity at 82% in Branson, but we're starting off under starry skies like we have the last few mornings, last really four mornings here all this week. Satellite and radar showing some clouds though, and we had some of those around filtered through that sunshine yesterday, a sign of what's to come. We have a system just to our west, and as it moves in, you can see the cooler air. Look at Emporia. Already has dropped a few degrees since the last time we took a look at our temperatures. 48 now compared to the middle 50s in Monette, Branson. 52 in Mountain Grove. It's also 55 in Springfield. Now, as we progress through the rest of our Friday, the thickening of the clouds is going to be the trend. We'll have more of that cloud cover around once we get past midday. 3 o'clock, we'll still top out near 70. And we still may see some peaks of sunshine, but once we get past dark, I think is when we start to see some of that rain overspread the area. The atmosphere is still pretty dry, so it could be falling on radar, but not actually making it to the surface. High pressure has been moving out. Our next system is on the horizon, going to give us kind of a rainy weekend, but also a cooler weekend. And we'll talk about how far our temperatures will fall in just a little while. The Springfield Police Department has put out an, an endangered person advisory for an 11-year-old girl. Her name is Miley Marie Wallace, was last seen leaving her residence on South Ingram Mill Road last night around 1030, wearing a gray t-shirt with the word champion on it. She also had on black jogging pants and Jordan shoes. If you have any information about where she may be, call SPD at 894-6008. One person has died following a crash involving a motorcycle and truck. Police say the motorcyclist died on scene. The accident happened on Kansas Expressway past Bennett Street. The identity of the person has not been released at this time. And Governor Mike Parson has extended Missouri's state of emergency order through the end of March 2021. He also released a public health warning that outlines some of the expectations for communities in Missouri. Governor Parsons' administration laid out some guidances for proper distancing, hand washing, and masking, though he is not requiring it. Parsons said masking is not something he will mandate, leaving it up to cities or counties. Now, here's what's new how the governor's office is classifying risk in different counties. There are three categories of risk which have to do with positivity rates in the last seven days. Category three is serious risk between five and nine percent positivity rate. Category two is critical, meaning positivity rates are between 10 and 14 percent. And category one is extreme risk, with positivity rates greater than 15 percent. Many of the counties in our area fall in the extreme risk, greater than 15 percent. Green County is at 22 percent. Christian is 27. Taney is at 31 percent. Meanwhile, in Kansas, Johnson County is cracking down on businesses who disregard the mask mandate and social distancing rules. Businesses can now be fined for not following the public health order. What I see in the numbers, um, since we've been wearing masks, the numbers are up. The masks are doing nothing for it. If you look around the world, the, the cases are, are going up and up and up. District Attorney Steve Howey said his office could file a civil action toward a business for not following the rules. That would only lead to a $100 fine. Cowden says he might close his restaurant if the county does start to enforce any consequences. 
Need to turn to some education news for you this morning. Ozarks Technical Community College wants to get more high school students interested in earning more college credits. Nija McDonald looked into that. That's why she's with us this morning. What'd you find out, Nija? Well, this week the college hosted a virtual event called Explore OTC. Now, first held in 2018, the program gives high school sophomores a look at educational opportunities they can take advantage of as juniors and seniors through OTC's Career Center and Middle College. Close to 1,000 students participated in the event. Qualified students can earn an average of 40 hours of free college credits all while participating in hands-on learning taught by local industry experts. Matt Hudson serves as a dean for OTC and says students have a unique opportunity right now to set themselves up for long-term success. Our title was Explore OTC for a reason. It's okay to come in if you don't know what you don't know what you want to do, um, but it's expensive if you start making those uh, choices when you're in a post-secondary program down the road and you're doing it at the cost of paying tuition. In this case, you can get in and see whether or not this is a good fit for you. If it if it's not and you've spent some time, that's really all you've used is some time, not resources, which is what we're trying to also give students a chance to look at. Well, the program is offered at 20 school districts in our area. Families interested in learning more can meet with their students' high school counselor. Nigel McDonald reporting this morning. Another update about when we put the Ozarks first for everyone earlier this week. We wanted to give you an update on those efforts. At last check, more than $25,000 was raised in donations and several thousand pounds of food donated as well. If you missed any of our coverage with that or you still want to take part and still help give a little bit, you can head over to our website, OzarksFirst.com. You click on the Putting the Ozarks First button on the home page. That will direct you to Cross Lines, Convoy of Hope, or Ozarks Food Harvest if you'd like to help. TJ Springer, you had a good time trying to raise some money there, right? It was great, Joe, to get out and just meet some of the community. And thanks for all of the help you guys have done. We really appreciate it. And it just kind of gets you in the holiday spirit of giving, that's for sure. We're taking a look at our live drive here on Daybreak this morning. Another quiet start to our day, but that's going to be changing as we head into the weekend. The good news is if you are, are out on a walk and your furry friends won't have any issues, wanted to is introduce you to uh, Vada Blue here this morning. It's her first birthday. We'll talk more about the rest of our forecast coming up next. Stay with us. From Color 10, Ozarks First, Jennifer Abreu, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist T.J. Springer. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.